And so did you get a lot of speaking? I'm going back to the writing programs for DPSST and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like the, you got a lot of firearms training in the Navy as well. No, 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 I yeah. didn't get a lot. I wasn't a frog. I was a diver, but you know, we did get a little mm. like, and I had some demo training yeah. and stuff like that, which is demo training is not like EOD stuff, but like we had some, I had a certification for it, mm. but that I didn't learn. I don't attribute any of my knowledge of that to the military at all. Like, absolutely not. Most, most of the shit I even learned in the military had to unlearn and redo once I got out anyway. It was wrong. It was incorrect. Yeah. So I, yeah, none of my actual firearm, anything comes from them. Where They're, did it come from? Well, that's a good question. Um, I have a couple friends here that have been big time shooters, like competition shooters. And um, so I just wanted to make myself better. And I started doing that. And then when I, I was at a class, um, I went to CRI, which is a counterterrorism school down in Vegas. I was down there and I met a couple guys that were really big in the firearm industry and like learning the correct way of doing this. And it was a really in like, you know how the levels of what is it? Unconscious incompetence conscious. I, I had this moment where I was like, Holy shit. I've been living my whole life. Not knowing what I didn't know. Like I, I was completely unconsciously incompetent. Right. And I had been living that way thinking I knew what I was doing. Right. And then I met these guys that were super good at everything they did and shit. And I was like, well, I got to plug that leak. Just like martial arts, right? Like I've been doing stand-up martial arts for 15 years. And then all of a sudden I go to one jujitsu class and I get murdered by a fucking hundred pound dude. I was like, I got to plug that leak. I, that's why I'm <laughs> <laughs> more than a hundred pounds. I'm more than a hundred pounds. <laughs> but then you realize like, oh shit, if I got on the ground, like, yeah. Same thing with my shooting. I was like, I didn't know anything. Like, I got to go back to zero and, like, start yep. over. Yeah. So that's what we started doing. And I just put the time in, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I'm nowhere near the shooter that you are, but that's kind of how I felt about it a couple of years ago. Like, like, hold on a second. Like, this is happening in the world right now. Like, yes. this is something that I need to learn. Like, Absolutely. Like, pronto. So, and you can hear that. I mean, you've been to some Travis courses, right? And you, when we're having our debriefs and mm -hmm. stuff, you hear those, what those people are saying are genuine. Like right. they're having these moments of epiphany, like in these classes, like, oh shit, it can be like this. Like I didn't even, and we shot guns. Like there's so much more that you learn about it. Like just the science behind the shooting and also like what's going on in your head. Like, why are you thinking the way you think? And why do you do the things you do? You really start to question everything i guess goes back a long ways right yeah no that that's uh those haley classes are those are life-changing you know yes, just they like are. how the how they apply I mean, you what, what is it you don't uh you don't put shooting into your life you put your life into your shooting yep right or is it the other, says that is all it the time other, yeah yep. like that's just it's just all that kind of stuff makes a lot of sense so there's he yeah he's a smart dude yeah he, yeah. he was, yeah, definitely interesting to listen to. All those guys, Travis and Jared and all that. I mean, that's a different topic we don't need to get down, but that's it's pretty cool Absolutely. that they invited you to become one of their instructors yeah, also. that was pretty awesome. The highlight of your Out career. Out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, we just hosted them. Right. I was a student in the class. When I'm, I was there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were there. Yeah, I was there. Yeah. No, it's it's pretty cool, and you're, you're awesome at it too. So. Thank you. Yeah, I got – my concealed carry in 2020 and I took one of your classes then to do that. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, even just like the couple hours that we spent at the range afterwards, I was like, this is not good. Like, <laughs> like this thing's five feet away from me and I'm taking my time to shoot it. And it's not anywhere near where I want it to go. Like, this is not good. Mm -hmm. Like I need to spend more time doing this. And I had already had the epiphany at that point that like, I need to go learn how to do this. And I was thinking that I'd go and take this concealed carry class and think that, yeah, I'm going to be a yeah. I'm good. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what happened with me in the martial arts. Yeah. I was thought I could take anybody standing up and got myself into a cage fight and <laughs> didn't know any ground technique at all. And 
Yeah, it almost lasted two minutes. I almost <laughs> lasted two almost. minutes. All right, so this is a question. So yeah. I've known Robin now for damn near 10 years with back to your Club Northwest days. Mm-hmm. And, and you used to teach a lot of classes over there and all that. Kelly, can this man fight or can he fight? Yes, he can. <laughs> yes, yes, he can. Yes, fight. he can. Yeah. Yeah. No. I got, yes. 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 <laughs> he can scrap. Yeah. No, I, I just, uh, I'm taking this boxing class right now and I just, I love that. I think mm-hmm. it's a lot of fun, but I really want to try jujitsu too, maybe. Until like, until it's a different until animal. Until it's, like, yeah, until it's, it's like animal. if you can't swim, you're, you're going to drown. You're going to drown. <laughs> yeah. Until I get all twisted up. And then I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to go back to boxing. <laughs> just don't forget to tap. Just it's, it's okay super to tap. fun. It's yeah. fun and it's yeah. addicting, I'll mm-hmm. say. Um, and it's humbling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it'll definitely check any ego that you thought you had. Right. Because let me get a little 100-pound 15-year-old kid in there breaking shit. Yep. Wrap you up. Doesn't matter. Choke you out. <laughs> Does yep. not matter. <laughs> When you yeah. start, you get like, are you on the wall with all the eight year olds? And you have to like work your way. <laughs> if you're smart, yeah. If you're smart, yeah. <laughs> yeah. only yeah. if you do it right. If, yeah. if you're smart, it yeah. doesn't sound bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, they. There was the old man jujitsu. It's like a thing. Like on, you can get it on Facebook and stuff like that, and follow that. And that's like just how I've always felt. Like I don't want to compete with those 15 year old kids because they're mean yeah (laughs) (laughs) you can bend them in places that they they don't know what that even feels like. well and they don't get tired and they Mm. don't get tired yeah i'm 44 bro i'm yep yeah yeah no i'd love to try it so you train at 10th planet is that right yes with andrew there he is 10th planet there 10th planet yeah Shout out. There's a shout out, Andrew. <laughs> Where's that one at? I haven't heard of uh, it. It's at RP- RPG. We're in the in same gym. building. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. I need to give it a rip. I need I'll, to give, I'll go with you. Yeah. I'll yeah. go. I need to do it just to get you back into it. We got to get you back. Every time we talk, every time I see it, I was like, oh, I want to do it so bad. Yeah. But. No, I'll get in there. Are you going to get in there, Lotto? No, I'm good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> I figure if I can't shoot him and they get me, I'm done. <laughs> it's over. That's fair. <laughs> All right. Next time we go we go fishing and you get a little rough with me with alcohol, I'm, I'm going to choke you out. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to shoot you. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to shoot you. <laughs> good luck to you, sir. <laughs> no, that's that's fun.